Hi everyone, Real Learn Magic here again, and we're going to finish our Lesson 6 chair. We have it all linked together, and we need to put the, the wood texture on it. So let's open up the wood texture from our inventory from this Lesson 6 chair instructions folder, and drag it over to that same texture window that we talked about in Lesson 5. And now our chair has the wood texture. Now we want to put a cushion on the chair. So I need to create another prim right there on top of my chair. And try to center it as best you can. It'll help in a minute. Now in this case, the object, we need to go to back to the object tag, click on the building block type. So if you've created the wrong type of prim and you actually needed a sphere here instead of instead of a box, then you just click on a sphere. But in this case, we're going to make a sculpted prim. Sculpted prims come because in a program outside of Second Life, someone has created a color map. As you see, here's a color map here. In some of the sculpties that people sell, they hide the color map, so you can't copy um, their copyrighted information. But So sometimes when we have them that are free to use, they don't show the color map, but that's how it's done. So we come over here, open up the sculpty texture for chair, and we're going to drag it to this spot. And now when you look at this prim, it has all these rounded corners, much more like a cushion, and that is what this sculpty texture does. There are sculpty textures, and you actually have some of these in your um, inventory in the library that is provided by Violin and Labs for bananas and apples and all kinds of interesting shapes. But in this case, we just want to make a cushion for our chair. So now that it's the, the rounded shape I want, I need to stretch it onto the chair how I would like. Again, make sure stretch both sides is off. Stretch it down so it kind of settles into the prim of the chair. And I like the look of it up next to the edges. You of course do get some artistic interpretation with this. And I like to pull it back so it actually hides the back of it within the prim at the back of the chair. And doesn't that look so much more comfy? But part of the problem is we still have this plywood texture. So let's make our texture on this chair cushion a nice more comfortable looking fabric. In this case, in your Lesson 6 chair instructions, there's the blue fabric f for the cushion. So I'll open that up and drag it to the texture spot. This texture looks a little funny and stretched out on this prim. It needs to be repeated. So we're going to come down in the texture window because there's all these different options you can do. But one of the most important ones is to be able to repeat the texture so that it looks the correct size on the object. So we want to make the horizontal repeat to 2. We want to make the vertical repeat to 2. And now that looks like a much more normal looking fabric. And now we have our sculpty cushion on our chair. Doesn't that look much more comfortable?